What's that? It looks just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Welcome back to the second episode of the final story of my final episode of my Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play. We are going to tackle the final two bosses in this game, one of which with the greatest character of... Well, okay, he's not Sonic, but he's pretty much everyone else's fan character, so we'll call him uh, the greatest character in the Sonic series. Second greatest, next to, you know, Tails and everything. Hey, look, and this is a boss fight that's not hard per se, but it's also not exactly fun. <laughs> I don't have an issue with this boss fight. My biggest issue is with how glitchy it can be. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, for one, normally if you fall into the water, it's pretty much game over. No questions asked. I don't know why I got out of that, but I got out of that. Um, you jump over these uh, black chaos energy balls and then you somersault under those ones. And if you don't make them all, I think he... I remember if you didn't make them all, he uh, started shooting his sequence again, but I could be remembering that wrong. No, don't want to go that way. But I've got two hits on him, you need to drop five. And um, if you get too close one way, he basically does the King Boom Boo thing where he you know, switches the angle from which he's attacking you. If you get too close to his head, he'll turn around and start attacking with that. If you get too close to his tail, he starts swiping at you with his tail. He does very much the King Boom Boo thing. Also, um, those fucking Shadow Balls are pains in the ass. You have to somersault under those, which it doesn't look like you could make it under them because they basically touch you. You have to jump over those. Small pains in the ass, but after you get through with that, you just grind up and attack him. Um, now it starts getting to be a pain in the ass, though. Because now you can't grind up his side and attack him. Now he starts summoning these giant force field orbs to uh, attack you. It's really kind of a pain in the ass. Come on. Come on. Come on. Essentially, you just have to avoid him until he starts doing that. Oh, you prick. Prick! 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 He missed. Yep, here it comes! Now you basically have to homing attack up to these things to uh, hit his core. And you have to do that three times, I think. First time it's not that hard. It gets progressively harder as it goes on. Why? <laughs> Why am I alive? You don't understand. I literally fall in the water all the time and I never get out of it. Nope. 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 Rings. Ring, 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 ring. Nope. Damn it. Rings, ring, rings, 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 rings. Chicken ring. Ah! Rings. Rings. Ah! Frig. Rings, 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 rings! I guess he doesn't reset his pattern. Huh. Hit that one, 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 hit that one! Now we just have one more hit to go, and then he is toasty. 
Oh, really? Ow. Ow. No. 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 No! <laughs> huh. I always forget that that's how he does his, uh, last hit. Get out, you ugly prototype. But that's how you take care of the bio-lizard. Seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. Only you can do it. Stop the chaos emeralds. Well, it tried. I remember when I was a kid, we used to call that Hyper Shadow, but no kids, it's Super Shadow. Hyper is an entirely different thing that only made one appearance. And this is the final boss fight. You are Super Sonic and Super Shadow fighting the Bio Lizard as it is flying straight into Earth with the game's theme song in the background. Oh, oh. God, I love this boss fight. When I was a, when I was a kid, my fr a friend of mine, Fred, had this game beaten, and I didn't beat it. And uh, the first time I played this was over at his house. And I remember I had fallen in love with this boss fight. No, I screwed up! Okay, time to cheat. Go, Shadow. Go! Um, if you switch to a character and you find you have too many, or not enough rings, switch to the other character. You can just switch to him by flying to the other side of the Bio Lizard. Also, I think it switches where his uh, red bump is going to be, too. So if you can't get it in the one area, feel free to switch. You might get it in the next time. Because it does tend to pop up in some pretty annoying places. If you do manage to get the hit though, the rings are refilled. No, no, no. Yeah, these lasers are pains in the ass. I gotta wonder where these things were when it was fighting me before. It's a cool looking laser though. Oh yeah. The controls for this are actually pretty easy to adjust to. You press A to ascend and B to descend, and you just... It kind of like automatically homing attacks into the uh, red bump. No, go this way. Um, also, if you watch the background, as the... Uh, 
uh, Biolizard progresses closer into the atmosphere, the screen will slowly start to heat up and turn red like you're entering the atmosphere. It's actually pretty cool. Gives you a really nice effect. No. Okay, no, we're need, need to switch. Need to switch. Need to switch. No, he won't! Damn it! So close! I'm sure you people don't want to see me play the same fight over and over again, but... Ah! I didn't even get hit the first time. I don't understand exactly what the physics are for accelerating and decelerating. Like, do you accelerate faster or slower if you change directions? Also, if you get close, just tap the button and he automatically slams into it. Yeah, Shadow, keep him busy for a while. You know, I kind of like Shadow's whitish color better than Sonic's gold. I don't know why, but it just looks more appealing to me. Not that I don't like the yellow, because I mean, I am a Dragon Ball fan, so... I kind of have to acknowledge the fact that Hedgehog goes Super Saiyan. Kind of cool, but, uh... Regardless. I think the white looks a little bit better. Or at least, I guess the transformation from Shadow's black with the white, or from black and red to the white and red, I think that looks pretty cool. <sighs> Must survive. Must survive. Must survive. Yay! Have to get two more hits. Those lasers are pains in the ass to avoid. Oh my god. I don't understand how they track you either. Like, uh, do they follow where you've been, or do they just kind of like slowly coast towards wherever you're going? Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to trick them, I guess is what I'm saying, how I'm supposed to get around them. And those red friggin' dodgeballs are just annoying. No. No! What? No, you're not. Stop lying. You're not rooting for me. Just have to get the last hit. And... Come on, Shadow, you got this. No, Sonic, Shadow is not okay. And there's the red screen! And it's done! Woo! We beat the Bio Lizard! With the solo going on in the background, it's glorious. But that was the final boss, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. Yes, you must, Shadow. Yes, you must. I think they say different things if, depending on who you finish with. This is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Shadow? Do you 
really think that the professor created him, oh Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a great scientist like him. But... Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is... We all did it together! You're right. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about right now. It'll all work out, you'll see. If you say so. Created the ultimate life form. What's the matter, Sonic? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. Do the planet as cool and blue as me. Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. And that was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. This was originally supposed to be Shadow's one and only appearance, believe it or not. He was supposed to die at the end of this game, but I guess fan popularity and marketing will do anything for you. Now, won't it? I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, guys. I really do. This is probably my favorite game of all time. And I wanted to share it with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I'm not that good at it, but you know what? I did it for me. And... Because I hope you guys like this game too. Anyway, I do hope that you will uh, enjoy or <coughs> maybe enjoy rewatching this down the road. If you're watching this now and it's like three years down the road, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you look forward to some of the next stuff that I do. Uh, I don't know what I'll do um, for my next game, but. Uh, it might be something Yu-Gi-Oh related, honestly. I've been kind of looking at playing the uh, PC Yu-Gi-Oh games. Maybe not as a let's play, but as a let's look at. Because I used to spend a lot of time on those. Um, with that said, though, I really hope you enjoyed the let's play. I've said that like seven times now, but I really do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you didn't mind the fact that I died a lot. Um, I'm honestly kind of annoyed slightly that Let's Players never die in their Let's Plays. I get because they want to keep it flowing and they want to, you know, keep everyone interested, but I've always felt like they portray themselves as superheroes, and I'm like, I, I just, I've always kind of wanted to at least see some of them, at least include some of their deaths. Some of them do, but for like the entire Let's Play, it really doesn't bother me that much that people die. It makes me feel like they're human. With that said, though, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you next week with something else. And until then, sayonara, Shadow.